You know, the pundits always like to, to tell us what's going to happen. Uh, where well, the pundits were wrong on Eric Cantor's vote, nobody saw that coming. So I'm not going to throw in the towel on immigration reform yet. Um, there's a, a message there. and I, I read an article that made a lot of sense to me. I believe Eric Cantor kind of tried to play it both ways. He was for a little bit of immigration and maybe not. And I think in the end, he really ticked off people on both sides. It's unfortunate. But I think for leadership, for somebody to stand up and say it's a problem, we need to fix this, put your ideas out there. Don't hold back. It's time to have the debate. And so I'm not even too concerned which side people are on, but don't keep delaying the debate. Well, it's tight. Uh, we certainly are having some of the growers um, you know, who are, are struggling a little bit. And you're starting to see a lot more competition between different commodities. That's something that we haven't generally seen in produce before. So that tells me it's getting tighter. They may still be you know, overall adequate, but uh, sometimes the, the workers want to go to the strawberry fields instead of the lettuce fields and, and that type of thing. We'll see what happens over the summer though. The third is actually a positive opportunity. That's the whole nutrition world. Uh, how we can get more fresh fruits and vegetables to kids, you know, the school programs. We announced here that um, we're donating 200 salad bars to Midwest area schools. Uh, we are now over 3,400 salad bars nationwide, uh, feeding 2 million kids a day. And you think about what a difference that's making. So really driving that nutrition policy forward for kids, that's really kind of that third main priority for us.